back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing super well. So in today's video, I'll be pretty much showing you how to achieve this look. It is what I think is the most ideal look for the perfect golden hour selfie. It's got a very big focus on perfecting the skin. So your skin base, prepping the skin before foundation, laying your foundation right, not too much powder, a focus on just a beautiful golden bronzed skin, which is very much possible even if you are a woman of color bronzing is for us too a very simple eye and which i'm sure you guys are sick of but because we're going with a very bright pop of color on the lips that's why i kept the eye simple and that's what makes golden our selfies that much more stunning it's minimal makeup but like a pop of something somewhere and i've opted to do that with the lip and you guys will be very very impressed by the lip brand I used on my lips. You guys really want to find out what that is because it shocked me. It's a drugstore product. I think a lot of people love this brand and I haven't used it in years. But they sent me their lipsticks and wow, this one, wow. So. Stay tuned if you want to find out how I achieved this look and if you're new to my channel I'd love it if you subscribed and if you haven't I would love it if you hit the notification bell it would help me out and also help you out so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without further ado let's get started. Okay so we're gonna take our MAC um, brow gel cream and we are just pretty much shaping up our eye. We're gonna clean everything up with the MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. Can I tell you the funniest thing, not the funniest thing, but the weird thing about this COVID-19, like the symptoms and stuff like that. So <laughs> you guys should let me know, like, because when I, whenever I go to the shops and I come back home and I have a little like tickle in my throat or like I cough or like I sneeze, like immediately I'm like, <gasps> like honestly like the paranoia is on another it's on another level I put I have I have asthma so for all my life like I mean I, I, I battle with like I go through these like waves of like having shortness of breath and I'm like I'm taking my asthma pump for like two weeks like I'm actually like actively taking it for like two weeks like every day and then there'll be times when I, I don't really touch it for like six months and then, you know, so like it's during this time that like I have needed to use my asthma pump, like at the beginning of the virus, like pretty much getting into the country, I had that wave where I had to take, like I had shortness of breath and I had to take my asthma pump and everything. And I was like, I was monitoring my symptoms guys. Like I was like, what do I have? Like, what? Like, what are my symptoms? How am I feeling? M like, monitoring my, my breathing because it's normal for me to have shortness of breath. It's, it's very normal for me. And then for a while, for like about two weeks during quarantine, like three weeks, I've been fine. And then now it's spiked up again. Like me not being able, me having to use my asthma pump. Like, like it's by my side all the time. So like. And I had just previously, I have just gone to the shops like on Saturday and my mind is like, just, I'm just like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So just let me know, like when you guys, when you step out the house and you come back, like a little tickle and I've been feeling cold lately. So the weather has obviously, it's, it's gone down a bit because of my chest and my, my already having respiratory problems. If I'm not covered up properly at night, it doesn't matter, this has been happening for years, but I don't cover myself properly at night, I'll wake up the next morning with a tickle in my throat and the onset that feels like a flu coming on. 
and it's up to how I handle it in the morning if I'm gonna get the flu or not. So I'll be super warm, I warm myself up. Then when I woke up this morning, I came more off, I switched on my heater, I had my sweaters on, my joggers on, my Uggs on, like super, super cozy and, and whatever. And now like I'm, I'm feeling better. But like two nights ago, I don't know, I stayed with like a t-shirt on and I got cold in the middle of the night and then I woke up the next morning and I don't know. I don't know. So let's um, focus on skin. Like I said, so I am bronzing all the way up. I like Golden Hour because it it focuses on the highlighting your face, like highlighting the beautiful features of your face. But I do tend to see that when it is Golden Hour, the lighting is a bit overexposed. So when I edit my pictures, I actually try to make myself a little bit more brown. Like I I like because obviously with the with lighting and whatever, whatever I'm in the room, whatever room I'm in, sometimes it can wash me out a little bit with the sun. So I like to look like brown and chocolatey and like radiant or whatever. So um I have two things. I don't usually use this, but I've been using it of late. This is the Clarence SOS primer and this is said to enhance deep skin tones um to be fair with you guys it really does leave a bit of a tint it's 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 a it's a it's a tint i can't even lie to you if i were to be like on a summer holiday or island holiday i'll probably use this and skip foundation completely because it's it creates warmth it adds warmth to the face as you can see like if a if a if a black person were to tan i'm pretty sure this would be the situation like if i were to have come from bora bora god willing you know <laughs> i would think i'll come back looking a little bit rich a little bit brown like this and that's what we like so i don't put on too much of this because I'm still trying to get used to it and still get to know this product a little bit more but so far I have been loving it so it's the Clarence SLS primer and then I'm going to go in with my MAC Luster Drops in Bronze Nero and I love these a ton I put on a generous amount of this just going to take the brush and this gives us our like glow did I say our glow from within? We really love how, I mean guys, on the average day, I could walk out of my house like this and feel amazing, but I'm gonna go, gonna go in with foundation. So I opted for a drugstore foundation today, just so that you guys can at least have a bit more access to the main ingredient in this tutorial. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. In South Africa, it's called Accord Parfait. Um, it looks like this. The pronunciation is probably way off. And I'm the shade Cappuccino 8N. I'm gonna give it a good shake. I'm gonna apply this. I'm using the same brush that we used bronze Nero in. And yeah, this is a little bit dark. I can't lie to you. This foundation shade, but um, just a tad dark for me. When you do those steps prior, you can really, you don't have to take your foundation to that super heavy caked up level because we've already done a lot to our complexion to even it out, smooth it out and you really don't need to do the most with your foundation at this stage. We're gonna conceal. This is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And I'm opting for this one because the color is gonna sort of just match. I'm, I'm quite warm right now. So the color of this is just gonna balance things out a little bit more. You don't have to use this concealer. They're beautiful drugstore concealers. You can use Maybelline Fit Me. You can use a little bit more watery, a little bit more lightweight. You probably have to put a bit more of that on. And or oh, you can use Ally Gold Pro HD. I'm using the benefits of the shade number nine. And we're gonna apply this. I'm just gonna pack this in. I'm not using a beauty blender for this step. Uh, I'm using a brush. 
this is the Sigma 4 DHD Kabuki. Obviously, you can continue to use your beauty blender or the tool that you're probably most used to. I really wanted a bright and yellow concealer because I really want a bright under eye area. We're not baking, we're just sitting with a little bit of powder underneath the eye area to avoid creasing in the in our love lines. Um just gonna dust away any excess. Let's get into the eye look that we're gonna do. So I'm popping open my Jennifer Lopez um palette. I'm only here for one shade guys. You can easily do this with like your foundation, I mean your foundation powder or whatever it is. Um, you don't need to have this particular shade. And this is just one of those one shadow eye looks that I just uh, like. I don't even know the name of this, but I'm pretty much just sweeping this across. As you can see, I'm using quite a large brush. Right now, I'm just gonna line up with mascara. If there's one thing that you guys take away from this tutorial, <laughs> this one thing. If I would say, what's the one thing I would recommend that you actually go out and buy, which I have not been able to find a dupe of, I've not been able to find a replica of this or whatever, is save your coin and get this. This is the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit for melanin, chocolate skin. Let me tell you something. This has the most amazing bronzer. It's called Terracotta Bronze. It's a contour kit with three shades and I use the middle one religiously. And I love to bronze with it. So, and we're gonna bronze contour slash bronze with it I'm just laying it down in this area with the contouring I have learned for myself these dark brown too brown muddy browns tend not to look too flattering on me when I contour them I definitely prefer a warmth I prefer I prefer orangey brick reds sort of like tones so that's why I think I just gravitate towards this a lot more but of late I have been indulging in a bit of blush so um, I'm gonna show you the blush that I love which obviously is a MAC classic and um, it's Raisin by MAC this is also something that I would say you wouldn't regret putting your money towards as well um, just to just give you the beautiful just a beautiful flush to your cheeks i mean i've i've tried my fair share of blushes and i can tell you something coming back full circle and reaching for this blush again i pretty much don't think anything really compares to it i mean just the tone of it the undertone and just how it complements black women i think is just yeah i don't know a woman of color i'll say um it's just it, it just complements the skin so well i just feel like it's such a stunning blush so this is what you want your skin to look like for golden hour we are going to put some eyelashes on don't worry so at this point we are going to highlight and i'm also going on with the classic which is mac gold deposit but if you put on just a small amount and just gradually build it up i think you will like it um, you just have to be careful of how much you put as well. I really put on a small amount and I try to take it all across here. So. so 
I'm bringing my highlight just a little bit forward so that you can also see this glow from the front of my face and not just from the side. I also want you to be able to see the glow from the front as well. And then we're also going to take it to the tip of our nose, the center of my forehead. So I used to focus it on my highlight on the corners, but I found that it like just made my sides because i already have a big head it made the size of my head just like look a lot bigger so i'll contour on the sides and then i'll bring my highlight and focus it on the center of my face here and i've been enjoying it like this we're also going to pop some in our inner corner as well we're just going to take some to a brow bone Okay, so while our lashes do their thing, we're gonna do our lips. I'm just taking a NYX lip pencil. This is called Brown. We're opening this drop I got from Essence Cosmetics. And I think we're gonna go for a red. It's like a beautiful red. So I'm gonna swatch these three from Essence and this lipstick this ordinary one so and i really want like a beautiful true red oh this is really pretty this one is called i dare you i think i'll go with the first one highly pigmented matte liquid lipstick so let's see i haven't done a red like in ages look i hope you enjoyed this video um i am so impressed with this lipstick i think this is just what killed the look for me in a good way I, oh look at that red you guys can you guys are you guys seeing this red it's so stunning and it's a true true matte it's a true matte liquid lipstick um fortunately yeah i don't know it doesn't feel very drying but it is very matte so probably you could get away with just moisturizing your lips prior and applying it. I think it could still dry down very matte. Um, but this is the overall look. Um, very golden, focusing on the skin, a beautiful glow, which I think is ideal for golden hour. Like I said, when my hair is slick and the top knot like this, I capitalize on these moments. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, products will be listed down below and see you guys soon. Bye.